Changing colors with the hue and saturation adjustment layer doesn't always give you the best results, especially when adjusting brightness. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this video, I'll show you a professional technique to change colors in Photoshop, including transforming colors to black and white. The first step is to select the shirt. In this case, you can use the quick selection tool, which is nested under the object selection tool. Then click and drag over the shirt. Photoshop will expand the selection and find the edges automatically. This selection is not perfect, but it will get us started and we can fine tune it later if need be. Now go into the layers panel and create a group by clicking on this icon. This group will contain all the layers we'll use for the color change, making the effects easier to edit. With the selection active, click on the layer mask icon to create a mask on the group in the shape of the selection. If you hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and click on the layer mask thumbnail, you can see what the mask looks like. Anything that we put in this group will only be visible in the white areas, which is the shirt. Using a mask in the group means one mask controls all the layers inside. If you need to edit the mask, you only have to adjust the group mask and not the multiple layer mask on the layers. To bring back the normal view, Hold Alt or Option and click on the layer mask thumbnail again. Now, go into the new adjustment layer icon and choose Hue and Saturation. From the Properties panel, click on the Colorize checkbox. Now, use the Hue slider to choose the new shirt color. And use the gradient above the slider to help you determine the color. I will make the shirt yellow, but this will work with any color. Then, I'll drag the saturation slider to the right to increase the intensity of this yellow. Now, this is the part that most people get wrong. I wouldn't use the lightness slider to control the brightness of our new color because it washes out the shadows and highlights. We lose almost all detail when we drag the lightness slider to the left to make the shirt darker or to the right to make the shirt brighter. See how all the detail is lost on the shirt? This happens because we're controlling the highlights, midtones, and shadows with just one slider. Instead, I recommend using a second adjustment layer to control the brightness. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, click like now and subscribe. To create the second adjustment layer, go into the new adjustment layer icon and choose levels. The levels adjustment layer will give you five sliders to control brightness. Let me show you how these sliders work. On the top row, you have three sliders controlling the images black, midtones, and white points. These are the input sliders. By dragging the black point slider to the right, you will make the darker areas darker. Look at the shadows, see how they're getting darker? If you drag the white point slider to the left, you will make more areas brighter. The middle slider controls the gamma, which is a way of adjusting contrast, especially in the midtones. Now let's look at the two sliders at the bottom known as the output sliders. The easiest way to think about the output sliders is that they set how dark the darkest color is and how bright the brightest color is. By default, the darkest color is black, but if you drag the black output slider to the right, the darkest color becomes a lighter shade of gray, making the image brighter. The white output slider does the same, but it sets the brightest color. Moving it to the left makes the brightest color the shade of gray shown on the gradient above instead of pure white. All you need to do now is adjust the five sliders to get a result you're happy with. The settings depend on the specifics of the photo and the color you want. Next, let's do two more color changes. We'll turn the shirt black and then white. I'll reset the levels adjustment layer by clicking on this icon. Let's start by making a black shirt. First, enable the hue and saturation adjustment layer and drag the saturation slider to the left to completely desaturate the shirt and make it gray. Now go back into the levels adjustment and drag the white output slider to the left, making the brightest color a dark shade of gray. Keep an eye out on the highlights of the shirt and just think about how dark those should be. Now use the three input sliders on top to fine tune the image. Now let's make the shirt white. I'll reset the levels adjustment layer again this time we're going to drag the black output slider to the right. This will brighten the shadows. Keep an eye out for them. You don't want to wash them out completely. I'm looking at the darkest shadow here to keep everything as realistic as possible. And again, use the three input sliders on top to fine tune the results until you have a realistic white shirt. And if you enjoy this technique, make sure you hit the like button now and subscribe.